Welcome back to another episode of Patchless with Barry Kim. Of course, experience award-winning 5G network with Smart. Thank you so much for powering us up every single time, all the way up until this episode. So yeah, I mean, it's been quite a while since we had our last episode. I mean, it's been almost a year. And you know, I just want to take a look back at some of my favorite episodes that I've shot. I mean, if you guys have your own favorite episodes, do let us know in the comment section below. Once again, huge shout out to Smart and of course to Black Box for always being with us here at Patch Though. So of course, let's kick started off with number one, my first favorite episode. Again, this is in no particular order. I don't want to rank the episodes in number one to number five. Ang dami kong favorite. So, siwala natin with episode number one my favorite is uh this episode this was shot in m5 if i'm not mistaken and i think you guys can see like okay yeah we actually went to another space that is not in in our current patch note set so that was um all the way in evc evm evn convention center in Quezon City and um, yeah, I was all glammed up before I went there. Tapos, uh, nakahingi na on permission from Moonton to shoot there. I was able to meet a lot of like personalities from uh, the World Championships, M5, you know, Kid Bomba, um, uh, Blacklist International, so many teams. I, I don't even know where to start because um, I think this is one of my favorite episodes too is because I got to play around with it. It was also Christmas time so I got to do like a lot of interview segments with the players, the coaches, and yeah, it kind of got to show their fun personality too, like behind this, the scenes. So I really enjoyed this one. Not only was it like outside the, the actual set, but I also got to meet a lot of like cool personalities and get to know them, like what it's like behind the scenes. And uh, apart from that, the next one, that's like a series of episodes. Like there's probably three episodes that I shot in M5. The next one is this one. Okay, this one is a bit of a long story because I had a difficult time trying to get RSG on the show. Okay, this is like way back when I started it before I started this new season. This is my favorite also because um, yeah, I got to talk to the RSG players candidly. I, yeah, okay, a little background too. They were a little bit late. Well, not a little bit late. They were super late for this episode, like an hour late. So I thought they weren't going to show up. I had to talk to their PR manager saying like, okay, if I could get RSG Philippines on an interview here. And so I actually got to talk to them like uh, this was pre-season, I think season 10 or something, season 9, some, something like that. I really can't remember. It was super super long ago but i enjoyed this one because i got to talk to uh coach panda i think that was eman uh exhort and light in this episode unfortunately i wasn't able to get everyone in but this was also one of my favorite shows because i am also a raider so i really really had a fun time like talking to the rsg philippines in this one and up next, we also have um, another one. Okay, this is another interview that actually blew up too because um, it was Coach Yeb and Kyrie. So this was funny. Okay, funny backstory lang dito sa episode on how I got them on the show. Because um, so so this was the first time that Coach Yeb and Kyrie actually went to Indonesia. Like that was their first season, and they were just starting to get. Uh, accustomed to like Indonesia and what it's like there so everybody was really having like a lot of thoughts like okay how's that like uh, kumusta yung experience diba kasi since nobody or actually hindi pa ting yung mga imports then so I was like okay maybe I should get, their in get them on a show get them on an episode and let them do an interview and funny how I contacted Coach Yem for this one because he was uh, doing a live stream on TikTok. Tas nag message ako sa kanya. Like I actually just casually asked him, "Hey, Coach Yeb, this is Kim. Can I get you on my show called Patch Notes here on YouTube?" I sent him a link and everything. He's like, "Oh," and he actually answered me on the live stream, saying, "Oh yeah, why not? Sure, we'll get Kyrie there as well." So I ah, yeah, I got this episode and it actually blew up too because yeah, since everybody's curious, it was more of like, okay, how. How's it like in Indonesia? Their experiences. Um, they also narrated like they had like Bahasa Indonesia lessons. Um, what are their favorite dishes in Indonesia? Some Indonesian radio you know, things like that. So this was a really really fun interview, and I got to talk to them way before Onik Indonesia got their championship. So yeah, um, another one is um, I have a lot. I have a lot of episodes, but of course I can't forget the first episode I shot, and this was really fun also because. It's the first time I'm working with a, like a new season, a new set, a new direction, a new team. And it's it's nice to have that kind of thing, right? Like you you have a, a brand new set, you got a whole new direction for the show. And this is when it was rebranded to like Passionals with Burger Kim. So I really wanted the show to be, since it was all about MLBB, everything and anything from Opalized Bang Bang. So I was like, okay, this is, this is great. There's so much potential for this. And I was so excited when I shot this first show because 
first episode rather because um yeah there was a lot of things going on we shot like i think five episodes this day so nevertheless even though i was tired this was this was something that I, I always look forward to even before we started shooting. Okay, last, but this is not the least because this is not in order anyway, but this is my last uh, favorite episode, uh, my top five episodes of Patch Notes. Um, this is the episode when season 13 was starting for MPL. And this is one of my favorite episodes because this was the time I remembered, okay, the first time this was shot, there was no promos or anything. I just, it was just up on YouTube and everybody was like, okay, they started clicking it. I think it got like almost like 10K views. And that was a big feat for, for everybody uh, here in the show because to think about it, nobody would actually view the videos. If you think about it, it's usually like either top talents in MPL or maybe even players who make content, right? So, so for someone like me who's just kickstarting the show off with, you know, uh, just passion for the for the game, I mean, I did not expect this amount of views. So I like this episode because I got to talk about the teams. Everybody actually, actually, this is also one of the videos that got a lot of comments. So I was really happy about that, that people were actually interacting with the the show and the, uh, the stuff that I actually talked about in the show. So yeah. Those are the top five episodes that I actually really personally love, has a personal connection to me in Patch Notes at Burger Kim. But yeah, that's it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you guys a little recap before we head on to a special next episode that you guys wouldn't want to miss that one out. So don't forget to like and subscribe to Tier 1 Studios over at our YouTube page. Click that notification bell and click that subscribe button for more updates on that next episode but for now hopefully you guys will let me know as well which one is your favorite episode or if ever you guys have some more ideas do let us know in the comment section once again but uh of course before i end the show don't forget to follow me as well at burger kim cast on all of my social media platforms everywhere anywhere and of course quick shout out as well to smart experience award-winning 5g network with smart see you guys in the next episode